Hello, Disney Car Toys here, and today we are going to play with the Marvel Super Heroes Play-Doh. Okay, let's open up the box and see what we got here. We have this great play mat with all the superheroes. And then we have the Spider-Man mold. And we have Play-Doh, yellow Play-Doh, green Play-Doh, red Play-Doh, and blue Play-Doh. So four cans. And then we have a bunch of these stamps here. So here's Captain America, Spider-Man, the Hulk, Iron Man, one knife. Got some more stamps here. There's Thor and Wolverine and then a roller. I think the Spider-Man mold here is probably the coolest thing in the set, so we'll start with that. I'm just going to make a normal Spider-Man on the box they show to use some red Play-Doh for his head and body, except for, um, for his shorts, use some blue Play-Doh, so we'll do that. So I'm just going to load him up here with some Play-Doh. I'm being pretty generous. Let's grab some blue Play-Doh for the shorts. Here we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. That's about right. Now let's get some red Play-Doh for his legs. Okay, now we just got to squeeze it together. Squeeze it really tight and remove all the excess Play-Doh. Let's pull out Spider-Man here. You can see the blue and red Play-Doh mixed together. Here he is. Um, I was supposed to do mostly his shorts, but I kind of got his arms and legs a lot of blue. But that's okay. It still looks like Spider-Man. Got to take off all the excess Play-Doh around his hands and arms. There you go. Here's a better look at him. He does have blue shorts in the back. Woo! Here's Spider-Man swinging from his spider web. Uh-oh! His arm just detached. Now it's time to make some of these stamps. I'm going to do the Hulk first. And of course use some green Play-Doh. Here I'll use a roller to flatten out the Play-Doh so I can stamp it easier. Just press it in pretty tight. And now just rip off the excess Play-Doh. And just use your fingernail to pull him out. And here he is. It actually turned out really well. And then just put him on the play mat. You can even use the other side of the stamp. And this is more of a stamp and less of a cutout. Just press hard and voila, that's his big fist. Let's compare it to my fist. Ooh, scary. Now I'm going to make Iron Man. Just do the same thing. Press the stamp into the Play-Doh. Take out the excess Play-Doh and you can do Iron Man in red or you can even do yellow because he's got some gold on him. And voila. Let's make X-Man's Wolverine. Wolverine's my favorite X-Man character. And we'll make him in yellow. Whoa, this one turned out actually really well. And now we can put him on the play mat. Now let's stamp out a Thor. I'm going to make him in some icy cold blue Play-Doh. Let's see how he turned out. Oh, this turned out really well, too. Very good. And now I can put him on the playmat as well. And now it's time for Spider-Man. He's my favorite superhero in this set. And my son seems to have a love-hate relationship with Spider-Man. He either loves him or he's afraid of him. It's kind of funny. Okay, there we go. 
looking pretty cool. You got a good detail on his web there, too. Last but not least, we have the Avenger Captain America. He's one of my favorites, too. Let's take him out of here. My son calls his shield a frisbee, which, thinking about it, I guess it kind of looks like a frisbee. Oh, that one turned out really good. You can see the A very well. And let's put Captain America where he belongs. Just for fun, let's throw a shield like a frisbee. Woo! You know, since the Spider-Man mold is so much fun, I say we make another Spider-Man. But I want to make him out of yellow and green Play-Doh, because I've never seen that before. I think it might look cool. Doing it super, super fast, too. Whoa! Here he is. Let's take off the excess Play-Doh. Let's see if this green and yellow Spider-Man can hang from his web better. Already doing a pretty good job. Woo! Let's swing. Really fast. Oh, he's holding on pretty well. Very good. Oh, his arm detached too. Thanks for watching and have a great day.